Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Friday, April 5th, 2024. Farcaster introduces actions, crypto advocacy groups file amicus briefs for the Tornado Cash legal case, TLX unveils its governance token launch, and Mattify raises a $1 million angel round. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is made possible thanks to Optimism's retroactive funding routes. To support this podcast, collect today's episode as an NFT on base at ethdaily.io forward slash NFT. On-chain social protocol Farcaster introduced Actions, a new feature for developers to build add-on extensions directly within Farcaster. The release enables users to seamlessly install and activate Actions through a Farcaster frame. Actions are already supported across multiple clients including Warpcast, Nook, and Butterfly, as well as mobile and web clients. A new action button has also been added to every cast. Actions can be programmed to perform a variety of tasks such as interacting with databases or smart contracts and executing API calls on a user's behalf. Initially, only one action can be engaged at a time. Among the first set of actions introduced include up thumbs, a classic poke feature, USDC tipping, DGEN token transfers, Farcaster ID verification, and the ability to gift warps. Crypto advocacy organizations Coin Center, DeFi Education Fund, and the Blockchain Association have each submitted an amicus brief in support of Tornado Cash developers in their ongoing legal battle. An amicus brief is a filing made by non-parties offering insights that may impact the case's broad legal implications. Coin Center's submission argues that open source software developers cannot control how their software is used by others adding that the freedom to publish open source code is a First Amendment right. The Blockchain Association's brief challenges the accusations of operating as an unlicensed money transmitter, contending that the developers did not have control over the transactions processed by the Tornado Cash platform. The DeFi Education Fund's brief addresses money laundering allegations, arguing that developers should not be held criminally liable for crimes by third parties. TLX, a leveraged token protocol built on Synthetics Perps, unveiled plans to launch its native governance token next week. Initially, 6% of the token's total supply will be dispersed through an initial airdrop. Upon claiming, the tokens will be immediately transferable without any vesting. TLX has a total token supply of 100 million. TLX says token farming won't be possible since the allocations have already been designated to users who voted in its Ecosystem Council elections and those who claimed liquidation points. An additional 4% of the token's supply is allocated as incentives over the next 26 weeks for users who lock their TLX tokens. And lastly, Manify, a social platform leveraging Lens protocol that enables communities to monetize through subscriptions, rewards, and revenue sharing, has raised a $1 million angel round. Manify is also behind the Bonsai meme coin on Polygon. 10% of Bonsai was initially distributed to active Lens profiles in early March. Bonsai is currently used as an in-feed currency on Lens for NFT minting and tipping. Madfi will use the raised funds to further develop its platform and support ecosystem initiatives. In other news, Frax Finance activates its protocol fee switch and the Eigenlayer web app will be down for maintenance on Monday, April 8th. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on Monday.